First John chapter 5, verse 19. The Bible says that for we know, he said, We know that we are he said, We know that we are of God, and we know that we are of God, and the whole world lied in wickedness. The whole world. I love the way the NLT and the NIV version put it. Please give me. NIV or NLT. He said, we know that we are children of God. And that the whole world is under the control of evil one. The whole world. Let me see how the NLT also put it. The NLT. We know that we are children of God and that the world around us is under the control of the evil one. It means there are evil men controlling the universe. Evil men are controlling. Last Tuesday, those who came to church, I said it. Those evil men, beloved, those evil ones, they are in our families. They are in our workplaces. We are living with them, those wicked people. We are surrounded by wicked men. We are surrounded by wicked men. Wicked people are controlling the universe. When you go to most of the countries, or most of most of, yeah, most of the countries, beloved, you see that most of the leaders or presidents or ministers or MPs, most of them are wicked. Most of them are wicked. You see, one of the reasons why a lot of people are not flourishing, a lot of people are not doing great things, is because of the leaders. It's because of the leaders. If your leader is not a God-fearing person. If your leader is not a good person, beloved, the probability that you go through hardship is high. If your leader is a wicked person, the probability that you go through hardship is high. It's high. When you go to most of the nations, beloved, the leaders or the, the, the president and the minister, most of them are wicked. Most of them are wicked. And beloved, a wicked person is someone, a wicked person is someone who calls evil good and good evil. A wicked person. Let me say it again. A wicked person is someone who calls what? Evil good and good evil. A wicked person. A wicked person. They call what? Evil good and good evil. It's in the Bible. It is in the Bible. Wicked people. I think it's in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Give it to me and let me see. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Wicked men. They call good evil and evil good. He said, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Mm. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. There are some people like that. They call evil good and good evil. And we are living with people like this. I'm telling you, people like this, we are living with wicked men. Wicked men. And beloved, it is in the Bible. The Bible says that if the wicked rule, the people mourn. But if the righteous rule, the people rejoice. So if your leader is a wicked person, if your leader is not a God-fearing person, beloved, I am telling you, you always, be, you always cry. So the reason why a lot of people are crying is because of the leaders. It's because of the leaders. A wicked person is someone who calls evil good and good evil. A wicked person is not a God-fearing person. A wicked man is not a God-fearing man. Proverbs chapter 4, Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13. The Bible said the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogancy, and all evil ways. He said, and the fluid mad. I love this scripture. I love this scripture. I love this scripture. The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the fluid mat do I hate. Do I hate. So, a wicked man, or a wicked person is someone who doesn't fear God. Who doesn't fear God. You, that, that person calls evil good and evil, evil what? Bad. And we are living. So, beloved, it is good to pray against curses, pray against evil ones, pray against the witches and the wizard. It is good. But, beloved, listen to me. We are in an era that, I have said it, we are in an era that when families come together, beloved, they focus more on curses. They pray against.
says witches and wizards. But beloved, listen to me. This is the time we must stand and ask for the blessings of God. This is the time families must walk in the blessings of God. Because let me tell you one thing, beloved, listen to me. God's intention, his intention for establishing families is that his children will come close to him and walk in his blessings. That is God's intention of establishing families. That his children will come close to him. And also they will do what? They will walk in his blessings. Amen. And when you study the Bible very well, beloved, you see that a lot of people walk in the blessings of God. They walk in the blessings of God. Abraham is one. Abraham, the Bible said that the man was great. One day the Bible said that God appeared unto Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. The Bible said that God said unto Abraham, he said, leave your father's house, your relative, your country and go to where I, the Lord, I will show you. He said, and I will make you a great nation. I, will, I love verse 2. I love verse 2. And God said to him, he said, and I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. I will bless thee. God told Abraham, he said, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Thou shalt be a blessing. God wants his children to walk in his blessings. God wants his children to walk in prosperity. Are you here with me, somebody? He said, and I will make your name great. I will bless you and you'll be a blessing. You'll be a blessing. You will be a blessing. And listen, if God will not do it, he will not say it. If he will not do it, he will not say it. The last time I preached a message and I said it. God does it before he says it. So in Genesis chapter 12 verse 2, it means Abraham was already blessed. The man was blessed because he said, I will bless you and make you a, and you'll be a blessing. It means the man was already blessed because he does it before he says it. He does it before he says it. Abraham was blessed. Now, when you continue to read the Bible, I think in the book of um, 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 Genesis chapter 22, the Bible says that Abraham was blessed. The man was rich. Abraham was rich. Genesis chapter 22 verse 18. 22, 18. Abraham was rich. And he said, And in thy seed shall all the nation of the earth be blessed. God told Abraham, I will bless, is it because of you or because of your seed? All the nations of the earth will be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. God wants his children to work in his blessings. Genesis chapter 13 verse 2. Abraham was, Abraham was exceedingly rich and Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver and in gold. The man was blessed. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, you and your family will experience these blessings. Yeah. Your amen is weak, somebody. Yeah. I said you and your family will experience these blessings yeah. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Let me see. Give me another version. He was extremely, extremely <laughs> rich. Give me another version. Abraham, be, he said, Abraham, Abraham had become very wealthy in livestock and in silver and gold. And NLT version. And NLT version. And NLT version. Abraham was very rich in livestock, silver and gold. The man was blessed. He was the father. And beloved, when you study the Bible very well, you see that his children, his children were, the Bible said they were also blessed. Not only the father. You go to most of the families, beloved. The fathers are blessed, but the, the children are going through hardship. It is an error. The parents are rich. They are living good, but the children are going through hardship. It is an error. It is an error. Because when you study the Bible, for the Bible says that, and Isaac, Isaac, Abraham's son, Isaac, the Bible said the man was blessed. Not only the father, not only the father, the father was blessed and Isaac was also blessed. It's in the Bible. I will prove it to you right now. Isaac was blessed. Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 to 13. Genesis chapter 26, verse 13, 12 to 13. He said, Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold. And the Lord... Oh, I thought somebody would clap. Abraham's son. The 
the man was blessed. Let's read verse 13. And then he said, and the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Very great. He became what? Very great. He became very great. So beloved, it is good to walk in the blessings of God. Now, when you study the Bible very well, you see that um, um, Isaac's sons, the Bible said they were also blessed. They were also blessed. The father was blessed. The son was blessed. The grandchildren were also blessed. So I pray that in the name of Jesus, in that family, it may God bless you and your descendants. I said, may God bless you and your descendants. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, don't only or don't always focus on the bad things that is going on in the family. There are so many Christians when they fast and they are praying, beloved, they are dealing with curses. They are dealing with evil people in the family. But beloved, this is a time we must walk in the blessings of God. And listen to me, if you are rich in the kingdom of God, the devil will be afraid of you. Yes. He'll be afraid of you. He'll be afraid of you if you are rich. You, you see, one of the reasons why um, um, the devil is attacking the church is that he doesn't want the church to become rich. I'm telling you, he doesn't want the church to become rich. And that is the reason why he's fighting against the church. He's fighting against the children of God. Because the devil knows that when you work in kingdom riches, you will help to improve or help the work of God. So he will always position himself to fight against you. Now, as you are standing here, if you are rich, or everything is okay for you, and you come to church, and it's, we are, I'm, I'm raising funds that we want to buy 100 bags of cement. We want to buy um, 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 300 bags of cement. Beloved, if you are rich, you will come forward and say, Apostle, I will buy everything. Most of the churches, beloved, when you go and they want to establish a new branch, someone will come out and say, I will do everything. I will buy a land. I will build a temple. I will put um, chairs in the temple. I will buy instruments. Beloved, if the body of Christ will pray, I am telling you the blessings of God will come down. So one day, David prayed the prayer. He said, God, send now prosperity. David was a king. David was a prophet. But this man stood and prayed to God. He said, God, send now prosperity. That it means prosperity is a good thing. Are you here with me, somebody? The Bible said, I wish above all things that Thou makest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospereth. So, as your child of God, you must prosper, and your soul must also prosper. Amen. You must prosper, and also prosper. Your soul must also prosper. Hmm? But beloved, in this end time, a lot of Christians, a lot of families are going through hardship, a lot of families are going through hardship. Some people cannot go to church again. The reason is that they are poor. They don't have, they don't have an um, offering. Some people will say collection. They don't have offering. And because of that, they don't go to church. But beloved, it is an error. The Bible said, God and silver are mine. We are the children of the most high God. And if our God is rich, if our God is great, then we must also, we must also walk in greatness. We must also walk in riches. And that is the reason why, beloved, God ministered to me. He said, let my people... He said, tell my people, let them call their family members and let them cry unto me. And beloved, if God has spoken, it means he's about to open a great door for families. It means God is about to do a new thing for families. I got somebody here will shout a big amen. Yeah. Listen, don't accept poverty. Amen. Don't accept it. Okay. Hey, don't accept what? Poverty. It is not a good thing. Yes. Poverty. He said, diseases. I said, poverty is what? I'm telling you, it's a disease. Poverty is not a good thing. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. When you see people riding their luxury cars, beloved, when you see them, when in jail, so you must also ride luxury cars. Are you, listen, beloved, listen to me. The grace of God is not for a group of people. The blessings of God is not for a group of people. So God told Abraham, he said, because of your descendant, 
Adinimi Hatai. He said, All the nations of the world or all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. And beloved, if you are in Ghana, you must walk in the blessings of God. If someone is in Nigeria, that person must walk in the blessings of God. If someone is in Jewish, that person must walk in the blessings of God. He said, Because of your descendant, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Shall be blessed. It means the blessings of God is not for a particular nation. Okay. He said, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. The blessings of God is not for a particular nation. It's for everyone. It's for everyone, the blessings of God. It's for everyone. Listen, the grace of God is not for a particular, it's not for a group of people. The grace of God is for everyone. So the Bible said that the grace of God has appeared appeared unto all men. The grace of God has appeared unto all men. So beloved, if if things are okay for me today, things must be okay for you. Because I'm a child of God and you are also a child of God. Amen. Also a child of God. Also a child of God. Listen. Beloved, listen to me. A lot of people are crying. You know? A lot of people are mourning. Things are not okay for them. Nobody is there to help them. They don't have anyone to talk to. Some people want, they, they want to kill themselves. They want to kill themselves. But beloved, I came today to announce you, don't kill yourself. And don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. Don't give up. God is about to open a great door on this platform of prophetic family prayer. God is about to do a new thing. God is about to turn you and your family around in the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen. If you have been through hardship before, and God opened a great door for you, and you see that some people are going through hardship. Beloved, you, 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 you will not be happy. You will not be happy. The last time I said it, I've been there before, beloved. I've been there before. I've suffered. I've been through a lot. Beloved, so if I see that people are going through hardship, people are crying, I cry unto God, the Father, have mercy, and help your children. Because let me tell you one thing, beloved. One of the reasons why some people cannot serve God well is because things are not okay for them. Things are not okay for them. Because listen, if you don't, uh, if you don't have money, how can you go to church? How can you go to church? One son was second, I said, what a should be. Now we need scabber for Marco. You can't. So it's good to walk in riches. Study, study the Bible and see. The great men in the Bible, they were rich. They were blessed. Study them and see. The Bible said Joseph was blessed. Joseph was blessed because the hand of God was upon him. The man was blessed. The man was blessed. Isaac was blessed. Abraham was blessed. Moses was blessed. All the generals in the Bible, beloved, had me A lot of people think that they were, they were, uh, and was slapping and they were also, and now they, they, carry, they only carry the power of God. But beloved, listen to me. The power of, the power of God was there. The anointing of God was there. And the blessings of God was also upon their lives. Not only the anointing. Not only the anointing. Yesterday, is it um, two days ago? One of my friends before me called lunch. Two days ago, or yeah, I think two days ago. Me at the restaurant, uh, he did lunch. And my friend said something. He said, Apostle, I don't know this prophet. I don't know what is wrong with this prophet. I don't know what is going on in his life. My friend told him, he said, Apostle, this prophet can prophesy and mention names. He can tell you your telephone number, your date of birth. He can tell you everything. But the man is broke. The man is broke. Just two days ago. So listen to me. It is not about anointing. A lot of pastors are highly anointed. But they are broke. Anointing is different from wealth. Anointing is different from riches. So if you carry anointing. You must also work in prosperity. Because if you carry anointing and you are not working in prosperity, I am telling you, should be loved. The people will not see the anointing on your life. You will pray for the sick, they will be healed. You will be, God will use you to bring deliverance to people. But beloved, you will go through hardship. He said, Apostle, I don't know. He said, Sometimes um, this man of God will call me. He, will be, he said, This guy is not a pastor, but the guy is rich. 
And the guy opened his mouth and said, um, this prophet is disturbing me. He will call me and say, um, um, bro, this, 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 and this. He said, sometimes I don't answer his calls. I don't um, reply his messages. But the man is highly anointed. He said, a great prophet. In the kingdom of God, a lot of people are broke. In the kingdom of God, a lot of pastors, pastors that preach the word, pastors that um, 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 use the word of God to encourage the children of God. Some of the pastors are going through hardship. Some of them are going through hardship. And most of the church members are also going through hardship. Most of family members are going through hardship. But beloved, this is the time we must pray. This is the time. If David prayed to God that send now prosperity, then it means when you cry for the blessings of God, when you cry for um, 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 prosperity, it is not an error. I say it is not what? It is not what? It is not an error. It is not an error. It is not an error. Some people suffer. Some people have been married for more than 10 years. More than 10 years. But now, they cannot have any good thing to show. They can't. Ten years. Ten years. They can't have something good to show. That ten years in marriage, this is what I have achieved by the grace of God. They can't. But the Bible said that marriage is honorable in all. There is favor in marriage. There is favor in marriage. Beloved, when you marry and you give birth, beloved, it means you have established a family and God must release his blessings he must release his blessings on the family. I'm telling you, a lot of people are going through hardship. Some people have married, some people have been married for 15 years, 20 years, and things are hard. They don't even have a land. They don't have a car. They don't have anything. One day I listened to Prophet and I said, he said something. He said, in, 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 on this earth, if you want to serve God well, there are some things you must, you must, you must receive or you must have. There are some things, beloved, listen to me. There are some things you must have. Oh, if you don't have those things, I am telling you, you'll be frustrated. So a lot of people go to church, they shout amen, they clap, they dance, but within them, they are frustrated. Jesus. Within them, they are frustrated. Within them, they are frustrated. <laughs> they are frustrated. They are frustrated. A lot of Christians, within them, they are frustrated. They clap, they do so many things. So sometimes, the last time I preached and I said it, when you go to church and you see that someone has frowned his face, beloved, don't criticize the person because you don't know the reason behind his or her action. You don't know. You don't know. Today, the person is happy. Tomorrow, the person is not okay. The person is sad. Don't criticize the person because life is full of ups and downs. Are you here with me, somebody? Yes, beloved, this is the time you must pray. This is the time. 10 years in marriage. 15 years. What have you achieved? What can you show? At least if you don't have anything, you can't show anything. But if you have something, you can show it. You can show it. You can show it. 15 years. 20 years. And sometimes, your wife will insult you. Your wife will criticize you. Your wife will say unnecessary things to you. And sometimes your husband will insult you, tell you unnecessary things. Listen, the reason, the reason why all those things are going on is because you don't, you don't have money. There is no money in the marriage. I'm telling you, there's no money in the, in the marriage. If you have money, your husband will respect you. I'm telling you. Tina Manika say, Odoka Krasika Kakra. That is their song. They always sing that song. If you are a man, if you are, if you are the head of the family and you don't have money, I'm telling you, every day you hear powerful statements from your wife. Powerful statement. Powerful statement. They will not open their mouth and say, I love you. I love you. You won't hear that statement. But you hear powerful statement. Powerful statement. That will make you sad. Powerful statement that will make you unhappy. So beloved, listen to me. Listen to me. It is good to walk in riches. And today I pray for every family here today. That in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God release the oil of prosperity. 
I said, may God release the oil of prosperity. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, one day someone came to me and said, Apostle, when I was single, things were okay for me. I was living good. When I was single, things were okay for me. I was living good. But 10 years in marriage. No, I don't have anything. I'm struggling. Jesus. Things are not okay. I'm stuck in life. Beloved, may God open the windows of heaven. Amen. May every family here experience an open heavens. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said, may every family here experience an open heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> if you don't have money, eh? in the family, if you don't have money, your wife will not ask you, today, what will you eat? They will ask she will not ask you. Today, what will you eat? Because if your wife asks you this question, you don't have money. And she says, "We need to carry you and say, 'Adi, I will come to you.' A man no more motor no no. We need to carry you come to the mendi. 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 We need the help of God. Though. Families need the help of God." If someone can shout a big amen, the blessings of God will locate that person. In the name of the Lord Jesus.